It's All About the Benjamins is a 2002 movie from a 1997 song of the same title. Though admittedly, I didn't watch it and can't recommend either because both are filled with profanity, they do make a valid point. That's all too true for far too many people. It's all about the Benjamins. In the title, Benjamins is slang for a $100 bill because of his portrait of Benjamin Franklin and represents the desire for money. And not just a little, because most of us don't carry around $100 bills as pocket change. That's why the song wasn't titled It's All About the Georges or It's All About the Abrahams, since carrying around a pocket full of $1 or $5 bills isn't that big a deal. American culture is caught up in the chase for money. People will do almost anything for a buck, including lie, steal, and cheat. Sadly, so are a lot of religious folk. Far too many religious people and groups are just as frantically and fully focused on the acquisition of money as the most ungodly among us. And for some, it truly is all about the Benjamins, and their proclaimed pursuit of God is only a cover for their true aim, the pursuit of wealth. One could say it has become their tradition, which is what we're saying here on Traditional Tuesday. When God talks about money in the Bible, it isn't to condemn it per se, but to condemn the love of it, the thought that it means more than anything in this life, to even value it above God and the life to come as if it's all that matters. Jesus warns against the single-minded pursuit of it for that purpose in Matthew 6, verses 19 through 21. When God talks about churches and money, he allows for the collection of funds, 1 Corinthians 16, verses 1 and 2. But the collection is for very specific and limited purposes. Helping saints, 1 Corinthians 16, verse 1. And supporting preachers, Philippians 4, verse 16, just to name a couple. Also, the means of acquiring funds is limited to free will offerings, 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. Those free will offerings are collected in different ways as each individual congregation chooses. As long as it is a true free will offering, by the members, then it's okay. We'll talk more about that next week on Traditional Tuesday. As we noted last week, if you're in a church that is all about the Benjamins, change the church, or stop giving them your Benjamins and change to another church that honors God instead of greed. Find one that pursues God. A church may be drowning in Benjamins because it has drifted far away from God. Don't go down with that sinking ship. But do come back tomorrow for another Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.